Would it be okay if I looked around? Go right ahead. The place is more like a museum than a house. Was this Josiah's clock? Everything in here was Josiah's. What do you do with these? I put them on the windshields of cars parked in the area. Great advertising. Ever put them on cars at the Lilac Inn? All the time. I've gotten quite a few pupils that way. As you'll soon realize, Josiah's mental faculties were starting to go, I'm afraid. He tended to ramble. Very little of what he wrote in there makes sense. What are you when you win, Bard Bounce? What poet is the cat's meow? What will para my miniature golf course get you? What's Gloria's middle name? Becoder is in the r rivet. Two to the right. It looks like Josiah lent a trivet to someone, but I can't make out to whom. The man on stage in this picture, is that Josiah? Yes, that's from a production of A Midsummer Night's Dream that he directed and starred in. It closed after two nights, but he didn't care. He loved that play. Now what? Were you surprised when you found out that Josiah had left you everything? Delighted, yes. Surprised, not really. Josiah was all alone, you see. Surrounded by people like the Crandalls and that banker, Jim Archer. People who were nice to him only because they knew he had money. Would you happen to know what Gloria Crandall's middle name was? I haven't the foggiest. It was nice talking to you. The feeling is almost mutual. Oh, a miniature golf course! Swell!
But he hit it too hard. But he hit it too hard. He hit it too hard. He hit it too hard. Oh, horse feathers. He hit it too hard.
I hit it too hard. Oh, horse feathers. I hit it too hard. I hit it too hard. There we go. I saw the forest gone. Hello, are you Mr. Waddell? So what if I am? I found this receipt, and I just wondered what you could tell me about it. Let me see that. One key, determine resale value, item 493. Oh, yeah. This was for that key Jim Archer wanted me to appraise. Jim Archer wanted you to appraise a key? It was very ornate. Had jewels all over it. Fake jewels, as it turned out. When I told him it was worthless, the cheapskate refused to pay me and told me to keep it. Do you think I could have it? Sure. Once you pay the appraisal fee... Which is... A dollar and fifty cents. <sighs> Here you go. Good. Here's the key. Enjoy. Hello, I'm looking for Jim Archer. Right through that door.
Hello, are you Nancy Drew? <laughs> Sounds like Emily called you. Yes, ma'am, Jim Archer. I'm founder, president, manager, and just about everything else you can name when it comes to this fine enterprise. I hear that some businesses aren't doing so well these days. Ever since the stock market crashed, one business after another has closed, including banks. President Hoover keeps saying that a recovery is just around the corner, but you have to wonder. Some people say we're headed for a depression. Well, that kind of pessimism is not only misguided, it's pointless. Thinking ahead and taking action, that's what we businessmen should be doing right now. And I'm happy to report that we're doing just fine, thank you. Excuse me. Main Street Bank, Jim Archer speaking. No, I don't. I'm sorry, but... Yes, I know, but... All right, then just bring it by. Sorry for the interruption. How can I help you? Do you happen to know whether the jewelry Emily inherited from her mother was insured? Well, I know for a fact that it was not. Why? Because someone snuck into the inn today and stole it. Oh, no. I heard there had been a fire in the kitchen, but... When it rains, it pours, doesn't it? I told Gloria not to let that policy lapse. Why did she let it lapse? She felt that since Josiah Crowley would be leaving her a large sum of money when he died, or so she thought, paying to insure her jewelry just wasn't necessary. How well did you know Josiah Crowley? Well enough for him to name me executor of his will. An executor is the person who makes sure the terms of a will are carried out. Why do you think he wound up leaving Gloria nothing? I have no idea. Truth be told, He'd given me the impression that I would be well taken care of when he passed on, too. But when I finally read his will, it all went atop him. Where did Josiah keep his will? He'd hidden it in a chest of drawers in his house. It took me months to find it. When he named me executor, he said he'd tell me where it was hidden when the time was right. Whatever that meant. How did Josiah die? He was sitting in the public library reading when, apparently, his heart just decided it was time to stop. What was he reading? His favorite book, The Makeup Secrets of Lon Chaney. The will you found in Josiah's house. Is it possible that Josiah didn't really write it? Well, the thought that it could be a forgery did cross my mind. But an expert verified that the will had been typed on Josiah's typewriter and signed in Josiah's hand. Maybe Richard Tobham bought the expert off. As far as the law is concerned, the matter is closed, Miss Drew. But it's possible that Josiah's real will is still out there. Are you sure he never gave you any clue as to where he'd hidden his will? Whenever I asked him, he said he'd tell me when the time is right. Although, he got a safe deposit box here about three years ago. Has it been opened? Topham has tried to claim its contents, but he can't find the key. Maybe he knows the real will could be in there. Only he wants to destroy it. Now, Miss Drew, I wouldn't go jumping to any conclusions. How well do you know Jane Willoughby? You know, Emily's guardian? Not well at all. Met her once or twice. Seemed a little... flighty. What was Emily's mom like? Had a good head on her shoulders. Friendly, too. Having a big slice of blueberry pie at the lilacan was always a real treat. It'd be nice if family could carry on the tradition, but times are just too tough. If she's smart, she'll sell before the bills start piling up. I guess I'll be going. Come back any time. Don't you ever use this typewriter? That used to be Josiah Crowley's. It was the only thing he left me in his will. Naturally, it doesn't work. The keys always jam. October 9, 1929. Dear Mrs. Sheldon, here is the trivet I said you could borrow for your party at Twin Elms. Please take care of it because I will want it back someday. Your friend, Josiah C. I wonder if Josiah ever got his trivet back. Who's Clara? Clara Pickford is this lonely old woman who comes in here every once in a while. Took a shine to me for some reason. Insisted on giving me that picture. Did Josiah Crowley give you this clock? Yes. Unfortunately, it stopped keeping time almost immediately. It would sure be nice to be able to open this thing.
Is this your car? Yes, it is. Bought and paid for.